So in this brief video, we'll share with you a handful of the techniques that we use to change the texture of the crepe paper, primarily our florist crepe and our doublet crepe. So the easiest way to transform our florist crepe is by wetting it and wringing out the excess water as you would a damp paper towel. And my favorite drying method is to either leave it outside or to set my oven at a low temperature, in our case, 200 degrees, and to have a pan to catch any of the excess color. And you'll see that it adds some color variation to the florist crate. And it's helpful in mimicking some of the more crinkly textured flowers, such as your poppies. And you can see in this example, the wet paper process to add pronounced crinkling to the petals of the Iceland poppy. And wetting paper, such as the 180 gram brown florist crepe that we carry, or shades like gray and black, you can create these textures that mimic natural bark. And we've used this technique on large installations such as the large tree that we have in the front of the store and this holiday log, log box. Another technique we like to employ here at Castle on the Air is the waxing of crepe paper. And that's very easily done with the beeswax that we provide and we have smaller pots, or you can go ahead and purchase, these are extremely inexpensive, kitchen crock pot that you can dedicate to waxing. Dunk the project and then shake off any of the excess wax and it takes a minute or two to set properly. And as the wax is setting, you can do some last minute manipulation of your petals, but it renders a very translucent effect reminiscent of Victorian waxed flowers. Or if you want to apply a vintage effect to any of your projects. So with the Mod Podge, you want to apply a nice even coat, being careful not to oversaturate the paper. It dries fairly quickly and don't be alarmed by any of the wrinkling that you see as the Mod Podge dries, it'll leave the wonderful gloss behind. So we'll go ahead and let this dry off to the side. So this is a scoring technique and it works best with a sharp objects such as a barbecue skewer. So here I'm just applying pressure with the edge of the popsicle stick and you'll notice some of the veining or the effect of the scoring. And be careful as the beeswax is hot. You don't want to burn your fingers in the process. And again, you'll shake off the excess, but you'll notice how dramatically different the leaf appears. It'll be much darker and translucent, even as the wax dries and you can see the different effects that you get. So this is a scoring technique. You can add some veining with that. And then the second example is our waxed doublet leaf. And you can see the change in the color and the texture and the sheen. And this third example is glossed doublet, which is wonderful for leaves such as camellia leaves or any other glossy leaf. And here you have it, just a handful of techniques that we hope you can use to alter the texture of your crepe paper and add some variety to your crepe paper projects. Mm -hmm.